I'm Dr. James Gay, and on behalf of the entire District 230 community, I congratulate you on your decision to participate in one of the many co-curricular activities or athletic teams offered in our schools. We're proud to have you represent our schools and our community, and we'll do all that we can to support you. As a part of that support, we want to help you make healthy choices inside and outside of school. The following information has been prepared to assist each of us as we work together for the safety and well-being of every student. I hope you find it informative and helpful, and I encourage you to seek clarification if you have any questions. As you prepare for the upcoming season, I'd also like to emphasize the importance of good sportsmanship. Our schools have won many state team championships, celebrated numerous individual state championships, and earned countless conference, regional, and sectional titles. Our programs enjoy a very high profile due to their tradition of success. As a representative of your school, you are competing on a very large stage, which requires that you conduct yourself with the highest standards of sportsmanship. Your coach or sponsor will share further details with you about our expectations for sportsmanship. I wish each of you the best of luck this season and I look forward to attending many school events throughout the school year. Thank you. Hi, my name is Deborah Baker, principal of Carl Sandberg High School. I want to take this opportunity to congratulate you on your choice to participate in one or more of the co-curricular programs offered here at Sandberg. We enjoy a very proud tradition of academic and co-curricular success. Our students and teams continue to rank among the state's finest competitors and are recognized for their many outstanding accomplishments. Taking your place in Sandberg's tradition requires that you make healthy choices both inside and outside of school. I hope the following information is helpful as you begin another successful season representing Carroll Sandberg High School. Programs have been established to support your education and are intended to provide opportunities for all students to pursue interests and develop skills beyond the classroom, to uphold your community's commitment to your safety and well-being, and to promote a healthy mind and body. As a participant in one of our co-curricular programs, you represent your school at all times. This is a privilege that brings with it certain responsibilities. These responsibilities include an expectation that you display good sportsmanship, leadership, and ethical conduct. These responsibilities extend to your team, your competitors, fans, coaches, and officials. Hi, I'm Carl Sandberg High School Athletic Director, Tom Fryer. As you prepare for your season, I want to take a moment to say a few words about the importance of good sportsmanship. As a representative of Sandberg, your behavior is viewed by your friends and fans, opposing fans, the community, and the media. It will be remembered long after the game is played. Good sportsmanship on the part of our players, fans, and coaches will show the most positive things about you, your school, and your community. When you compete, it is our expectation that you will play within the rules of your sport or activity, treat your teammates, opponents, coaches, fans, and officials with respect, remain calm even if others are losing their tempers, never settle disputes with violence, and support your teammates with positive statements, acknowledge good plays even when the other team makes them, accept the calls of officials with grace even if it goes against you, whether you win or lose, congratulate your opponents on a game well played. As athletic director, I have the highest expectation for our coaching staff that they will also model good sportsmanship throughout the season, both on and off the field. The positive actions by a coach, competitor, or spectator can influence how our school is perceived in our own community and the communities of those schools we meet on the playing field. Displaying good sportsmanship is among the responsibilities we accept with the privilege of representing our school. If you have any questions concerning sportsmanship, please contact me at Carl Sandberg High School. Have a great season. You may choose to do so in a music or theater performance activity. Others of you will represent your school in competitive academic activities, such as speech or debate. Or you may choose to compete on one of the athletic teams offered at the school. A list of all applicable activities is included in the Code of Conduct document. 
As a participant in a co-curricular program, you are expected to adhere to student discipline rules, not to consume or possess alcohol or tobacco, not to consume or possess illegal substances or drug paraphernalia, not possess weapons or lookalikes, and not to haze fellow students. You may not attend a party or gathering and or ride in a car where alcoholic beverages and or controlled substances are discovered, used, possessed, bought, sold, bartered, distributed, and or being consumed by minors. This code applies to you 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. A word to parents. Please remember that it is illegal and dangerous for minors to consume drugs, including alcohol. Condoning or supporting such behavior is illegal. Despite our best efforts to warn them of these dangers, teens sometimes find themselves in situations where alcohol or drugs are being consumed by minors. Talk to your child about these situations before they occur. Develop a plan together with your child if they find themselves in such a situation. And keep the lines of communication with your child open at all times. If you believe your child is in need of assistance regarding substance abuse, please don't hesitate to contact their guidance counselor immediately. Now let's talk about the process. Information about code violations may come to the attention of school officials in a variety of ways, such as receiving a phone call via email or by letter. As with any disciplinary violation, when this occurs, the information is investigated by the school dean's office. Through the investigation, the dean's office seeks to determine whether or not the code has been violated. Students involved in an investigation will be given a fair hearing. The result of the investigation is shared with the assistant principal and or athletic director. If a code violation is found to have occurred, the assistant principal and or athletic director set the appropriate penalty according to the category and number of offenses as outlined in the code. This information is then shared with the parent and student and the coach or sponsor is notified and enforces the penalty. An activity board consisting of the principal and or assistant principal, dean of students, athletic director, and coach or activity sponsor oversees the process. The decision of the activity board and or administrator shall be final in determining consequences for students involved in athletic or performance-based activities. Because the co-curricular code is intended to support good decision-making, Students who are experiencing a problem and who seek assistance may voluntarily contact school officials. In case you are in need of assistance, a voluntary admission allows you to seek help for a special problem. If you find yourself in such a situation, help is available to you. You may use voluntary admission only one time during your high school career, but may not use voluntary admission if the rule infraction is already known by the school. A voluntary admission takes place when you initiate communication and admission with a certified employee of the school district before you are arrested, detained, confronted, or apprehended by any law enforcement personnel, school personnel, other governmental personnel, or a private citizen. The voluntary admission to the coach, sponsor, athletic, or activities director must occur on the first school day following the rule violation. If you voluntarily admit to a violation of the Code of Conduct on a first offense, you will not be subject to any loss of competition or performance time. You will be required to attend an educational substance abuse program that has been approved by the school district. A voluntary admission for a second offense will count as a first offense, including loss of contests or performances as outlined in the Code of Conduct, provided that you have not used a voluntary admission previously. Included in the Code of Conduct document is a chart listing three types of offenses and the consequences for each time a violation occurs. Category A applies to the use or possession of tobacco or attendance at a party or gathering and or ride in a car where alcoholic beverages and or controlled substances are discovered, used, possessed, bought, sold, bartered, distributed and or being consumed by minors. Category B applies to the use or possession of alcohol and or illicit drugs. And Category C applies to instances of gross disobedience. As you can see from the Code of Conduct document, specific actions are to be taken for first, second, and third offenses. If you are found to be in violation of the code by the Dean's Office, you must serve the penalty immediately during the current season. 
If any amount of the suspended performance cannot be fulfilled in the current season or school year, you will serve the remaining suspended activities in the next co-curricular activity. Students involved in more than one activity during the time of the rule infraction will be subject to exclusions in each of the activities as outlined in the code. Hello, I'm Greg Garber, the assistant principal here at Carl Sandburg High School. I hope you found this presentation to be helpful and informative. If you have questions about our programs or the code of conduct, please contact either our athletic director or myself. If at any time you are concerned that your child is experiencing a difficulty and are concerned for their health and safety, please contact his or her guidance counselor immediately. We will do all that we can to help your child have the most healthy and positive experience possible. Again, I wish you the best of luck on your season and commend you on your choice to represent Sanford. Go Eagles!